y'all welcome back to my channel to get life for in today's video i will be showing you what's on my new macbook air but if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to my channel down below but yeah this is my wallpaper of course it's the last wallpaper i used on my last macbook if you guys don't remember it's because like i like this wallpaper too much because i love using it so i lunch lunch pad right now so those are the apps i have it's the basic apps that comes with the MacBook, App Store, Safari, Mail, Contacts, Calendar, Reminders, Notes, FaceTime, Messages, Maps, Find My iPhone, Photo Booth, Pictures, and Music, Podcasts, Voice Memos. They added that to the MacBook. Obviously, Apple TV and all those sorts of apps. And I did download Zoom because I've been using that for school. And I use Rita, of course, to edit my videos, if you don't know that already. But yeah, it came with those apps and stocks and voice memos are the new apps that came with the MacBook, with this MacBook I purchased. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool, I guess, you know, no use. Um, this MacBook was kind of pricey, I ain't gonna lie. But I'm gonna show you the other apps, you know, here are the others, you can see them on the screen, you know, it's this digital maker stickies. Um, these apps, I really don't use them on a daily day basis, to be honest with you. The only app I use on a daily day basis is definitely the screenshot app. Because if I need to screenshot something, obviously I'm going to screenshot it, of course. And that's what I use on a daily day basis. Um, It came with a dictionary this year, which I think that's cool. Obviously, if you have stickies, Grapher. Grapher, if, if you're like a designer, that's when you would use it. And Migration Assistant is when you would transfer it um, Mac to Mac. Um, I did use it eventually on my own MacBook. And yeah, so I'm gonna show you the settings on my MacBook as well. Like, and I have Pluto, by the way. Um, Pluto's app where you can watch TV and stuff like that. So the MacBook I got was the MacBook. It it was the 2020 version, like I said. It's the Mac OS Big Sur. Um, this is the first MacBook that does not have a USB port, which I'm kind of mad about that because I usually use the USB port to plug in my ring light. So, I can't do that anymore. So, it kind of sucks. So, before I record YouTube, I have to make sure I charge my ring light now. But, yeah. um, The MacBook, it cost about almost $1,000, guys. It's pretty expensive. I purchased it with the student discount because, honestly, I did not want to pay $1,000. But, that's pretty much it. This MacBook is nothing fancy or whatever. I'll probably be using it for YouTube videos and probably high school and college of course but that's pretty much it to be honest with you it's nothing much major but i really hope you guys really enjoy this video if you haven't already make sure you subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video